Hello, this is Brett Lonsdale from Lightning Tools and I'm going to demonstrate Lightning Forms. Lightning Forms is a product that allows you to customize the forms between a SharePoint list and an external list. Here we have a SharePoint external list which is accessing data, data from a SQL database backend. And one of the problems I have with that is it's very difficult to customize the forms with inside an external list. So here you'll notice when we go through and create a new item that first of all we don't have any spacing in any of the labels and we also don't have any input validation either which would mean that we could enter data that is invalid for the database and having to do a round trip to the SQL Server database before we get the error trapped. So one of the things that I would like to do is to ensure that a unit price is entered correctly and also to tidy up the form a little bit visually. So the first thing we're going to do is navigate back to the SharePoint list and from the list ribbon within the context of my browser I can click onto customize rich forms and select any of the four forms that make up a SharePoint list so the new form display form edit form or other forms so I'm going to customize the new form You'll notice that I can customize the form again with inside the context of the list itself, meaning that every single change that I make, I can actually visualize on the screen at this moment. So in here, we can go through and customize some of the labels as we, uh, as we mentioned a moment ago. So this is very useful for a external database when the column names uh, tend not to have uh, spacing with inside them. And we can also go through and, like I say, add some logic or add some validation to our form itself. So on the behavior tab inside the rich forms, we're going to go to the validation section and click onto the expression builder. Now the expression builder allows me to select any of the fields with inside the form itself and also select other common objects as well, such as the user or the page variables. So I'm going to simply take the unit price and we're going to enter a validation to ensure that anybody that enters a unit price in here is not entering a price more than 50. Now we can also test that as well. So notice by clicking onto test before we save our changes, we can test the expression. So I can enter a product name in here and we can enter a unit price and we can click on to save to see if that's going to trap the error for me. So once we're satisfied with that, we can click on to save, which will save our expression. And then we can go and enter some validation text. Now, once we've done that, we're just going to simply save and close the form. And now we can test out our form by clicking onto new item inside the external list. Entering a value that's too high and we'll click onto save and you can see how that validation is being trapped before that is submitted back to the database. And upon entering a lower value, that allows me to save my record. So that's working with the SharePoint external list. So if you're using business connectivity services to access any form of data, whether it's from SQL or Oracle or any other data source, uh, notice how you can now actually add validation to the data and improve the layout before that data is submitted back to the underlying data source. The next thing I'm gonna do is work with a standard SharePoint list. So I have a SharePoint list here. It is created from a custom list template. And notice that we can go through and view an item with inside the standard uh, list. And one of the things I want to do is tidy up this form so that we can have different groups uh, separating some of these fields so we can expand and collapse them. But I also want to insert a sub list onto the form as well so I can see data coming from another list. So this is a vehicles list which is uh, allowing me to see all the vehicles on our fleet um, and if I go to uh, servicing then I can see the uh, services and the work that have been carried out on each of those vehicles. 
So the first thing we need to do is navigate back to the list itself and from the list ribbon we can once more customize the forms so I'm this time going to customize the display form. So on the display form the first thing I would uh, like to do is create some grouping. So from the uh, rich forms ribbon we can create a horizontal group and in there I'm going to create uh, two vertical groups. We can resize our form and inside the left vertical group I'm going to insert another group with a header. We'll change the name of that header to vehicle I'm going to move some of these vehicle specific fields into that header section. So we now have those fields in, in one section and I want to go through and insert another group And this other group will contain fields specific to the vehicle contract. The final thing I'd like to do is remove some of the fields that are no longer required. I'm going to insert a sublist. So from the rich forms tab, we're going to insert a sublist. And that sublist is going to be my servicing list. So we now have servicing on the page, and these are joined via the lookup column, the vehicle registration. And we'll leave the picture where it is on the form. Let's go and test this by clicking on to save and close. and we'll select one of the vehicles and you'll notice how we can see the vehicle information as well as the service information and we can expand and collapse the sections to see the information that's required. The last thing we might want to do is just add a little bit of logic so we're going to go back to the vehicles list once more from the list ribbon We'll customize the display form. So we're going to add a button with actions. And we'll add an action which is going to be add drivers. In the type of action, we're going to choose open a list form. And you'll notice how we can go through and specify which list we want to open. So in this case, I'm going to choose the drivers list. And we can choose the type of form that we want to use. So in this case, it's going to be the new form. I can select the content type, which is optional, but we want to create a new contact in this case. Uh, we could also pass through a query string variable as well as choosing how we want to open up the dialog in order to add a new driver. So rather than lose the context of the vehicles list, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, open this up as a modal uh, dialog. So we can add our own title and we can also choose the dimensions of the format as it opens up on the page. So we'll click on to save. And let's navigate back to the rich forms and save and close. So we'll open up a list item. We can see the sublist on the page and we can also go through and add a vehicle driver. 
Okay, so that's just a small example as to what can be done uh, very easily with Lightning Forms. If you'd like to find out more, please feel free to arrange a demonstration by emailing sales at lightningtools.com. Many thanks.